swag of a prize fighter. Uh -huh. The antithesis of a firefighter. Arsonist, I'm a fire rider. Damn. Instant flame like a fire lighter. So special with shows, I live out my flows. Can't walk in my shoes, can't purchase my clothes. Ice in my veins, but I never froze. Picture perfect, but I never pose. As a juvenile, I know I bounce back. Uh -huh. Got rated, had a plan to get my ounce back. Right. UC's that's, that's bait, that's a mouse trap. Let me to the right person to pounce at. Sure. They selling dreams, I'm pulling receipts. Full force, we can't be beat. Got a dirty mouth, but the flow so neat. Keep your two cents, talk is cheap. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Javante Davis was sentenced to 90 days house arrest, three years probation, and 200 hours of community service. And we're going to take a look at a news clip in or, or listen if you're listening to the podcast, and then we'll discuss this in greater detail. So, all right, let's go to the news clip. Within the last hour, we have learned that Baltimore boxer Javante Davis will not spend any time behind bars related to a crash downtown. So Nikki Zizalza joins us now with some new information about that. Nikki. Well, Vic and Denise, a judge sentenced the world champion to 90 days of home detention that must be served in Baltimore, plus three years probation for his role in a hit-and-run car accident. Well, back in November of 2020, Davis was at a downtown Baltimore restaurant and left in a 2020 Lamborghini heading toward the Four Seasons Hotel. He had a police escort. However, he turned away from the police escort. And in this video obtained by WJZ, you see he ran a red light at Martin Luther King and Washington Boulevards and struck a 2000 2004 Toyota Solera. Four people in the Solera, including a pregnant woman, were injured. A separate vehicle then picked him up. The judge also ordered Davis to do 200 hours of community service, also in Baltimore. Just a few weeks ago, Davis won the biggest fight of his career so far, beating Ryan Garcia in Las Vegas. Back to you guys. Thank you, Nikki. Well, the married doctor. All right, so there was that. I'm actually going to go to this one because this one goes into some more detail. Plus, this one actually shows footage from outside the court and speaks to the lawyer. So let's take a listen. Davis did not appear happy with that sentence. Also, the civil attorney for one of his victims was not happy with the sentence. And the judge was not happy throughout this entire proceeding. But here is the big headline. Baltimore boxing champ Gervonta Davis will not serve any jail time for the hit and run crash that he caused with his Lamborghini back in November of 2020. In February of this year, Davis pleaded guilty to charges, traffic offenses connected to that crash in which he ran a red light, hit another car, four people inside, including a pregnant woman, were injured. And then he got into a Camaro that pulled up and left the scene. Today, the judge sentenced him to a total of two years plus 60 days in prison, but she suspended all of it except for 90 days. She told Davis he will serve those 90 days through home detention. She said the home detention will happen in Baltimore City. No, he can't just go to the gym. She was not happy with his response when she said that. He made some faces. She called him out for that. And then she said he also will serve three years of supervised probation in Baltimore City, she said, because I'm also making you attend a MAD panel, a shock trauma program, and 200 hours of community service, quote, and that will not be in boxing. After the hearing, as people made their way out, we tried to get their reaction, but Mr. Davis and his lawyer had nothing to say. Mr. Davis, what's your reaction to the sentence? What's your reaction to the sentence? Can we get your reaction to the sentence? About the sentence? We don't have any comment. No comment. Can you give us your reaction to the sentence the judge just handed down? Well, we're not exactly uh, satisfied with a sentence of 90 days home detention. Uh, we believe that based on the severity of this incident, it doesn't seem to be much of a penalty to me. The judge seemed to take issue with the fact that he may have had special treatment. She asked the uh, state's attorney, why didn't you mention he's never had a valid license? She asked the defendant, the defendant and the defense attorney, why was he allowed to attend his pre-sentencing investigation with an entourage and not answer any questions? Do you feel like he was treated differently than other defendants? Well, he definitely was. And the judge noted herself in her comments that he believes he's above the law. 
That is the civil attorney for the only victim who has yet to settle up with Mr. Davis. She spoke at today's hearing. She told Gervonta Davis he ruined her life. She said she can't walk or stand for long periods of time, so she can't play with her kids. She said she can't go back to work. She can't. Uh, she had to stop going to school because she can't walk across campus. And she also called him out for never apologizing. She was crying when she did that. And then the judge called him out for that too, saying, quote, I am sorry, just three words. I am sorry, she told Mr. Davis, quote, and you aren't man enough to say them, end quote. Next in this case is a restitution hearing in criminal court, circuit court here. Plus, this matter's also heading to civil court as well. Reporting live downtown, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News. All right. So there's all that information. I'm going to turn it over to you, Trill Dollar Bill. What's your reaction? Oh, man. I got to do this. <clears throat> you can throw uh, it to G, man. You can throw it to G. Uh, shit. Um, oh, all right. Here, here it is. All right. You know what? All right. Listen, hopefully the young man, he learns his lesson. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, you know, I, I feel like I really don't know too, too much. But I, I listen, I feel like y'all, y'all, y'all got, they say he got off easy because he's celebrity. I feel like he's getting it even a little bit, maybe a little bit worse because they're going to hit him up in his pockets because he's going to have to pay to each one of these people. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, he has a suspended sentence. So he can't, and he's on probation, so he can't mess up. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, he got to do the 90 days house arrest. And if anybody doesn't know, like if you're out here in the world and you living your life, that 90 days in house arrest, you can't leave the crib. I know to some people, it might not be nothing. You know what I'm saying? But if you're used to having your freedom and being able to do whatever you want, whenever you want, that becomes a restriction. You know what I'm saying to you? I remember, especially if you, you're supervised, I remember I was on federal or parole. I remember I had an incident. I know somebody that had an incident and they was on the bracelet and they had to stay in the house for 90 days on the bracelet on parole. And it was the worst thing. Can only go to the library and back. Like if you step outside for two minutes too long, the thing will go off and they will be surrounding your whole crib trying to take you to jail. You know what I'm saying? So that alone can be, Difficult too. You can't even take out the trash and be outside for too long. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> it's it be go it go down. And then on top of that, you got the two um, hundred hours that you got to do with community service. Can't be nothing in the box. It got to be for what they pick for you to do. You know what I'm saying? So on top of all that, you got the fear of going to the jail for a suspended sentence of three years or two years or whatever that was. Then you got the ninety days. You can't violate that. Then you got the two hundred, and then you got the money that they're gonna take out. Hey, listen, man, I feel like they they made an example because if it was anybody else that got into a car accident, you know what I'm saying? And and they uh they they was had no license and they went and hit somebody, it'll probably be a a, a little fine and you know, and probably something is gonna happen community service. It's not gonna be to the extent of what happened with Deontay uh Tate Davis, you know what I'm saying? And then they, they look at it with, oh, he got into another car. This is a celebrity. He left his information in his car and everything. He needed because he had to protect himself. So people want everybody to know that it's not like a real uh, hit and run where he just left and they didn't know who he was. Nah, he left information behind and it was a person that was left behind too. He was more concerned about his safety with him being who he was. And that's what that happened with that. So I think a lot of stuff plays into this. And, and no, no, I'm not taking Tank's side. I think, you know, whatever happens, you know, it happens. He, he got to do his, you do the crime, you got to do the time. You know what I'm saying? I've never been the one to weasel out of something. You know what I'm saying? If I did something, I did it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to fall on the sword, you know what I'm saying? And, and be like, hey, I did it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Hopefully I don't get over sentenced, <laughs> but that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like he's he he's, he's he he did the crime. 
and he's he's doing the time, and and it should be all over with after that. Even though I think it's it is it is kind of crazy if you, you break it down, but that's just me. That's just that's just me, you know, playing on my sensitive heart. All right, G. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at it a little different from Trill. I I feel like to be honest with you, this is kind of light. Now they didn't really talk about you know because the civil trial didn't happen yet. So I don't know how much he's gonna have to pay out to the victim. It's gonna be saying she was pregnant and he hit her. Know, he's but he's but gonna come out. To me, to me personally, he got lucky, you know, because ninety days—that's really just three months, you know. House arrest. This dude is a millionaire. I'm pretty sure he's living a lavish life in his mansion or wherever he lives at. You know what I mean? So I I, I won't classify that as a major punishment and even three years probation i'm like hey bro you could have killed somebody you know and you jetted you know so he put it on himself he ran the red light you know and he dipset you know what i mean so to me he's lucky you know because like <clears throat> go for bed somebody could have died you know and all he has to do is just 90 days like and just keep your you know keep your head low you know, for, for probation for three years and then you good. I mean, two, 200 hours community service seems Three crazy. years, bro. But, bro it ain't hard. Why I laugh too, you know bro. what? Do you know what happens if you violate within those three yeah. years? Yeah, but what I'm saying is it's not hard to stay out of trouble for three years. You know, like he could stay out of trouble for three nah, years. No, nah, no, nah. no. What I was laughing at when you said that, though, remind me of something where we was. We were just kids, you know what I'm saying? We were driving. Be like, yo, man, you was driving all crazy and everything. But did you die? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, nah, I just feel like like 200 hours community service is a lot for me. But, however, what he did is warranted, you know? And if I was in tank shoes and this is what I was sentenced with, just 90 days probation, Oh, three years probation, but house arrest for 90 days and 20 hours of community service that's not associated with boxing. I'd be like, yo, this is unfortunate. However, I'll take this L because in, in retrospect, this L is pretty light, you know, because they could have did them dirtier, you know. So I don't know. And I do kind of feel bad for the, the families, but as to me, this may sound messed up, but as long as you know, the medical bills and, and other things are covered. I feel like everyone could walk away at least. I'm not going to say happy, but at least uh, satisfied with, with the verdict, you know. So I'm just waiting to see what happens in, in civil court and how much he's going to have to dish out to the victims. All right, Ned. All right. This is... This is a slap on the wrist, but the three years probation is like you really have to be like a saint to like avoid violating probation. Because honestly, back in February, we were talking about taking the uh, domestic violence situation that happened at the home and things like that. Like if you're putting yourself in environments where it's going to deem you like like it's going to put you at jeopardy of uh, losing your freedom. It's, it's risky. Like in three years is a long time. And. What he got here besides the 90 days house arrest and 200 hours of community service, that's a slap on the wrist. That's literally an hour a day or two hours a day, and he could cut his time in half by what he chooses to do and what through the city of Baltimore. But I feel his actions in this, he could have he could have killed he could have killed a family. He could have he could he could have killed somebody and instead of checking on them and calling 911 and taking accountability for it and at the scene, he drove he got in another car and drove off. Which is kind of dis disgusting to myself. It's like, what type of man are you? What type of person are you? Are you even human at this point? Like, you think you just wreck somebody's property, vehicle, or whatever, and instead of checking on their well-being, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. And I know he's a celebrity, but this is a this is a crisis right here. And you chose to like do something that shows who you really are as a person. And I didn't even know this was hap this happened. Um, Tink was involved in the situation, but there was so many other things we talked about where Tink is domestic or it's uh, what is it? His contract, things of that nature. But I never knew he, he this happened in 2020. 
and it's kind of it's kind of bad. This is a bad look, Tank. Like you really have to rebuild your image in these three years, and in these hours of community service, in these ninety days of house rest, reflect on really the type of man you are, the type of fighter you want to be, what you want to re represent the city of Baltimore as. And another another jab I want to throw at the city of Baltimore is like they 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 the criminal justice system over there hasn't been the best. And we've been seeing a lot of politicians, a lot of uh, police officers, things like that, get arrested for finding holes, loopholes, and things like that in the system. So him getting 90 days, two years, <laughs> 200 hours. This guy different, yo. This dude watching HBO Max. Uh, <laughs> old star, you know what I'm saying? Thinking he know about the system in Baltimore. Yes, it's corrupt. I know. I know what you're talking about the the corrupt unit and all that stuff. But, yeah. but what does that got to do with Javante Davis? <laughs> I'm just saying that's why he got to stay. He's a he's a he's a beacon for the city. But you got to really re, re, redefine your image after mm -hmm. this uh, this incident, man. And you got to do just be do um do um take care of the family that you injured in this uh, in this situation as well. Be taken care. And then you got to really. You you really got away with a lot because if they died, it's over for you, Tank. It's over for you. There's no way out of this. Look, yeah. Look, when when did this happen? You said in 2020, right? Yeah, November 2020. This happened in November 2020, right? All right, cool. So he was 25 years old, right? Hopefully, he learns his lesson. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> you know? is, it, is, it, is it on me? Yeah, it's on me. No, no, I've learned this lesson. I'm saying he was a young man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about condemning people for mistakes. That's just not how I roll. I believe in second chances. That's like, a big I mistake. always preach I, I would not be here with you fine gentlemen if it wasn't for second chances. I'm, I'm, not, the same, I'm not the same man that I was at 25 that I am now. So yeah. thank God for them second chances. Definitely true, but I'm just saying, if that family had died, he's but they didn't. different, 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 different. Um, he's not looking at 90 days. They didn't. The rest. They didn't. Yeah, but there's a difference they, between they, mercy they, and accountability. You can do it. both. We could, yeah. you know, we could be like, all right, we're not going to throw the complete book at Tank. But I think they was accountable. I think they, they, they did exactly. hold him accountable. Accountability. So, you know, this, to me, doing this is... Uh, I, I don't see how you can complain about three years probation. I'm be honest. I'm the, the three years probation. That's the long. I'm saying you got that on top of the plus that plus that, and then the financial. This is. I said. I mean, look, it's a lot. I'm compared to the the normal somebody else. If you gotta well, look, if, if it was somebody else, and three probations, three right. years probation is kind of hard when you just got into a different domestic violence situation back in February. It's kind of hard. How's that hard, bro? Just that's in violation. If any police get caught discriminating, they'd be like, "That's my point." So, bro, he's charging like, "Yo, he, 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 he everybody he. and him being a public figure and everybody else knowing this, you know how hard." But we go, but this. Is... Y'all just got silent real quick. Okay. No, 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 I'm, 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 I'm done. Insane. Done. Insane. I'm done. I'm done. But you know, I, 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 ain't, I ain't the law. I just feel like changes yeah. need to do better. And make I'm that pushy. right to that family. I'm pushy like this. I I believe in second chances. I believe in accountability. I'm also not a fan of cruel and unusual punishment. So you have to find a fine line. And I believe you take the steps needed to deter bad behavior. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's what that's what I believe. Now, I want to talk about a few things because, Ned, like, you keep saying what he could have done. You don't sentence people based on what they could have done. Thank you, God. You sentence people based on what they've actually done. Like, there's elements, right? So every crime has elements, right? And if, the, if you meet the element of each crime, then you can find someone guilty of that crime. So if a crime requires three elements, but only two are present, I can't convict you because you could have met the third element. I got a pistol. You can't give me life because I got a pistol. Because yeah. <laughs> you, <know what> <laughs> you could have killed somebody with that pistol. 
So to 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 give you an example, right? Like that deep trill. I was deep trill. I, I got that. I got that. Really Oper <laughs> operating under the influence, driving under the influence, whatever you want to call it, usually requires three elements. One, operation of a motor vehicle. Two, while under the influence of alcohol. And three, uh, you operate the motor vehicle on a public way where the public had access. And so um, in that case, right, someone must meet all three of those elements in order to be found guilty of operating a motor vehicle. So all three of those elements in this in this case with Javante Tank Davis would be present. Well, I don't even know because they didn't say he was he was he was he was uh, under the influence of alcohol. But my point is those three elements need to be present. Now, let's say one element is missing, then you can't find someone guilty. So let's say someone was under the influence of alcohol and they were operating a motor vehicle. But it was in someone's private driveway or someone's private whatever. So now they don't meet the element of operating in the public area. They were in a private area that was restricted. So that element isn't there. So now you can't you can't arrest them for that. So that's the point I'm making. It to meet every element of every crime needs to be met in order for you to find someone guilty. And you can't sentence people and you can't find people guilty on what they could have done. Right. So that so that's one thing. Now, the other thing, um, you know, is the judge clearly wasn't a fan of Javante Davis. The judge you heard, the judge was like, oh, you can't even you're not man enough to say I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. The judge clearly wasn't a fan of Javante Davis. And. I'm of the opinion, I respect everyone else's opinion, I'm of the opinion to judge through the book at Javante Davis. I've never seen this combination. It's usually one or the other. So I'll give you an example. If you give someone a suspended sentence, that means that you give them 90 days. If they stay out of trouble for 90 days, then it's over, mm -hmm. right? Or you can give them a suspended sentence for a year. It's usually longer. I, suspended sentences usually don't last you know, 90 days. You give someone suspended sentence for a year, two years. If they stay out of trouble, cool, right? But if they get in trouble, throw them, throw them in jail. They gotta, they gotta do the time, right? So, so that's, so that's, so that's, so that's one thing. The other thing is, um, 90 days house arrest. That's usually another sentence within itself. So, say for a crime, you give someone house arrest. You give them 90 days house arrest, you can give them, you know, six months house arrest, whatever you give them. They are house arrest. But that's its own individual sentence again, right? Probation. You give someone probation, it's usually its own individual sentence. So I give someone probation. And for the record, three years is extremely excessive. The most I've ever seen someone be on probation for is two years. Supervised you three years probation, supervised, supervised, which means he has conditions of release, which means he has to see a probation officer. And if he doesn't comply with his conditions of release, he can go to jail. If the probation officer says they want him detained for violating conditions of release, what are conditions of release? It can be you have to remain drug and alcohol free, it can be you have to complete this um uh anger management program. One of his conditions of release is mad. He has to go to MAD program, which is Mothers Against uh, Drunk Driving, and he has to go. He has to go there and and, and 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 sit there and probably hear stories of moms who lost their their kids to to people who were drunk driving. That's why I assumed alcohol was involved because they didn't mention alcohol was involved. But the fact that they said he had to go to MAD, you know, to me is like, well, why would you send him to Mothers Against Drunk Driving if if alcohol wasn't involved, but but anyways, here's here's the thing. Three years probation, dude. That's three years. I don't care. I can't tell you I won't get in trouble in, in three years, and I've never been in trouble with the law. <laughs> Who can say that you won't get in trouble? Anything can happen. I can walk out of a Taco Bell, someone run up in my face, push me, I duff them, and then all of a sudden I'm in trouble. If I was on probation, that could throw that that alone, because she was like, you know, TBE brought up all the other stuff that's not relevant. The domestic violence, all that stuff is not relevant 
to I'm this. Arguing. But I'm when called is a violation of your probation, like even if it's just an argument, and the people get loud, and somebody calls, the cops getting called to your your crib is a violation of your probation. But in this case, what what would say with Javante, say say Javante just walking out of I don't know an event. And someone recognizes him and they want to test the champ because that's what happens. You know what I mean? Like people have seen me work out in the gym and then they want to spar me. And I'll be like, spar me? Like you don't even you don't even know how to throw a punch. Like, it's just like you just you just want to look tough. So that's why you're coming up to me. Right. So you want to look tough and, and whatever. I don't know. Maybe your girl was looking at me or something. I don't know. You want to look tough. But I'm going to walk away. Right. But Javante, in his case, maybe someone wants to look tough with Javante. Right. So. They run up in his face. What if what if it leads to a physical altercation? Because see, with Javante, people have incentive to want to get into a physical altercation with him because they want to get paid. So they get into a physical altercation. Now Javante gets arrested. Violation of his parole. The judge is already not a fan of him. So the judge throws him in jail. Three years to not get in trouble, to not have anything happen. In three years, it's very difficult thing. I mean... His I've friend can do it. His friend can do it. And he's I've been fortunate in my whole life to avoid this, but just because I've avoided it doesn't mean there hasn't been times where I could have <laughs> been arrested. You know? Um, because if I had to ride, I had to ride. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But uh, getting back to it, though, probation is its own sentence. So now you have a suspended sentence, which is its own sentence. You have house arrest, which is his own sentence. You have probation, which is his own sentence. And she gave him all three. All three. It doesn't even make any sense to give a suspended sentence and probation. <laughs> it's already probation, cuz. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Already you want you to, now you got to pay fines and check in with somebody on top. Yeah, of it was it was you know just to add more time. <laughs> That's the whole reason she gave him probation for three years. Three years of probation supervised, yo. You know what happens if you miss a meeting with your probation officer? You don't check in. Then you say, oh, "Okay, cool." 200 hours of community service, that's nothing. 200 hours, 40 days a week. If you work eight hours for five five working days a week, that's 40 hours. So you mean to tell me that's nothing? 200 hours? So you got 80, that was nothing, just for the record. 120, 200, <laughs> that's what I was like. That's a little excessive, you know, the 200 hours. You know, nah, they, come on. They an example this is, like nah, I listen. Said. This is what I'm telling you. She gave him everything she possibly could. could. Exactly. That's what I'm telling you. And this is what I know. So so there was that. She she wanted Ryan to win. Not only, not only that, <laughs> there's restitution. Now, this is what you're talking about. Restitution is about making someone whole. So putting them in a position they would have been in had there not been an accident. So he's going to have to pay for damages to the car or replace the car. He's going to have to pay for medical bills and whatever. He's going to have to put them in a position they would have been in financially had he not had the accident with them. Right. So that's what restitution is about. So that that hearing is going to happen. Then there's a civil suit. Well, you know they're gonna try to sue for damages, and that's what she's that's where she's going. I had to drop out of school. Did she really have to drop out of school? Or is I that gonna work. help her civil suit? My yeah. neck, my back. I can't stand up for long periods of time. time. I can't do all the stuff. All that that got in there is for the civil suit. Now, when you say he got off easy, I just disagree with that. Am I saying that? He didn't need to be held accountable. Absolutely not. I think he needed to be held accountable. I think that, you know, a suspended sentence, a longer suspended, uh, 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 she could have gave him a suspended sentence for two years. I'd have been cool with that. Uh, nine days house arrest. You know, it is what it is. 
you know, uh, she could have made it 180 days. She could have made it, you know, whatever. House arrest. But nah, she, she, she added that on with the suspended sentence. And then three years of probation. Why not just two years of probation then? Why the suspended sentence? Usually you get a suspended sentence for pleading guilty. So because you, you know, I mean, you playing along, they hook you up. So uh, this, this is where I'm saying, I think she threw the book at him. I got a better idea, though. If he was smart and his lawyer was smart, see, this is what people don't want to do. People are so hot up to be out. He should have just taken 30 days. 30 days in. And then walk out clean. Because this is what they like to do. The system likes to... To, to let you, they, yeah, they like to, to hang the time over your head. See, because now they're saying, oh, yeah, you can walk out that door. But now if you mess up within the next three years, we got you. We got you with the he new said, charge and the old charge. Like, nah, yo, you know what? 30 days in the house of correction. 30 days in the house of correction. Leave after 30 days. Not worried about nothing. But see, people be so hard up to walk out. That they hang themselves. Look at look at all these conditions he has over himself. Probation for this, probation for that. Mess up one time, they're gonna throw you in the house of correction for longer. I would have been like, yo, I, if I, if I was his attorney, I'd be like, yo, you can have all this. You mess up one time, they gonna throw you in there. If, if he mess up, they they put him on house arrest for ninety days. So he gonna go in for probably at least ninety days. If he would have just taken 30 days house of correction. That's what I'm saying. He didn't get off easy. He would have been better off going in for 30 days. He would have been, the judge would have been so mad. If they, if they were trying to negotiate that, the judge probably made it so he couldn't even negotiate that. They were probably like, oh, how much time could he go in for? The judge was probably like, oh, 180 days. Who want to be reasonable? This I'm just saying, to say he got off easy, he has time over his head for three years. For three years. So um, was it fair? Was it whatever? You can say whatever you want. But I don't think he got off easy, just based on, on what I know. He got three individual sentences put together that are absolutely irrelevant just because the judge didn't like them. They don't even make any sense. Restitution, civil suit, and community service. So... And you already know how the judge feels about him. So the judge do do everything she could at him. Go ahead, G. I got a question. Um, because like the, the judge was talking about how he didn't apologize for what he did, right? So I got kind of like a two-part question. Could could the judge be justified in giving this type of excessive sentence because she didn't feel that Tank had remorse? And also, if in fact Tank did say, I am sorry. Could that be used against him in the civil, um, the civil uh, court case? You know, because it's kind of like, on if you already say I'm sorry, yeah. you're implying that yo I'm guilty. You know what I mean? And so, I gotta pay out some things. So if he stayed silent, is that like a strategy for him during criminal? Um, I don't know if I'm saying the right the right terms, but you know, like during in the civil, the, during the civil suit. Yeah, exactly. You know, well, of course, anything you say. Can and will be used against you. And if you apologize in as part of the sentencing, of course they'll use it in civil court to try to show that you know you're responsible. But in civil court, the standard is much lower than in criminal court. So in criminal courts, beyond a reasonable doubt, in civil court, the standard is preponderance of the evidence. So typically, if you're found guilty um in criminal court, then when you go civil court is usually going to be damages awarded because the standard's much higher. But um, still, you don't want to say anything that might hurt you or hurt or hurt your chances. But in the sentencing, yeah, you're right. The judge could could look at it like he never said sorry, so I'm going to hit him with everything I possibly can. And that's what she did. It looks like she hit him with everything mm -hmm. she possibly could. So that's why I'm saying he didn't get off easy. Most of the times, like I said, people get one of these things. They either get a suspended sentence, they, they get house arrest, they get probation or they get time in the house of correction, but to just throw it all together, then add community service then add supervised probation. Like that's a, like y'all, y'all think it's, y'all, do you know what supervised probation is a mug? Supervised probation is the biggest nuisance 
can't miss, you can't miss nothing. You gotta get all you got. Can't miss a urine. You can't. You yeah. can't everything. You you Matt. You got and you gotta pay. And Especially pay. if she gave him random so, drug in 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 in, in alcohol and yeah. drug screenings, they just call you and be like, "Yo, we need well, you pull here. up." Depending on where he got, they'll pull up and be looking at him. <laughs> be okay, like, for real. And can you feel this? <laughs> like. Can he fight this though? The sentence he agreed to it, so there's nothing he could do. He could just you just gotta eat that. He agreed to it, so yeah, he got. That's why they say he wasn't happy with the sentence. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems oh. like to me the judge knew he would accept this because he wanted to be out. Yeah, he wanted to be. So free. the judge threw the book at him and said, "Yo, if you want to be out, this is what you're gonna have to accept." And so Poor he legal counsel. Yeah. All right. Well, well I'm telling you, sometimes yo people don't realize this is better. We know we talk about this all the time. We'll see people. It's almost like taking a bad credit deal. We'll be like, you might as well just go to jail for 20 days and then <laughs> come out, come out got, with money that's over your head. You like, know what they used to say back in the days, bro? Hey, I got more time than I got money. Go lock me up. You know what I mean, bro? I think, I think some people be like, Tank Tank shouldn't be someone worried about doing jail time. He probably would have been a cakewalk for Tank up in the. He would have been in PC. He would have been chilling. He yeah, he would have been good. good. He wouldn't even have been doing regular time. But <laughs> I, some of these regular brothers, I understand why they don't want to do time because they they see these movies and they hear what people say and they think when they go in jail they about to be. It's like, bro, it ain't like what you hearing. You know what I mean? But it is it is what it is. Like they they be afraid. So I can understand why like a regular Joe Schmo would be like. Hang anything over my head. Just don't throw me behind the bars. You know what I mean? But like, yeah. But I got a question about the. It's the just like the streets, but with no girls. <laughs> <laughs> like I got a question about like the three year probation. Like you know, like like usually you know. Again, this is what do I know? But you know, usually they be like, "Yo, you got to check in with a person every week." But then they go, they be more lenient, like, all right, yo, you've been on your good behavior. Instead of checking in once a week, now let's just check in once a month. You know, like, could that still be the, the occurrence for, for a tank where it's like they could just loosen the, the, the restrictions of the probation? Depending on his P.O. Mm hmm Yo, bro, you're anything. literally at the mercy of your P.O., bro. It's literally, anything. If you got a cool, they can got, make up any yeah. bad day, they have a bad day. You come in five minutes late, lock him up. You know? no, they're, not, they're, they're not assigning him a cool ass PO who listens to hip hop. Who <laughs> they're not assigning him that guy because they, they're they offering him Juan Garcia. Yo, it's gonna they, be they're not even okay. offering him Juan because that's too risky. They're offering him that uptight point Dexter, take his job too serious. You know what I'm saying? They giving him that guy, like you said. If he shows up five minutes late, you missed your day. Yeah, throw him up. Like yo, they, they, they give him that guy. He walk in five minutes. They already gonna have the officer right there. They're like scared. They're like just looking at the officer, just waiting for him. Like they already vetted. They're not empty giving your pockets. Him. Empty your pockets, Javon. I promise you this. His PO is not gonna be a young black man. It's not gonna be a young black woman. I don't think it's gonna be a. I don't think that's gonna. I don't. I'm telling you, it's gonna be the most uptight person in there who don't give a damn. Like that's it. That's gonna be his PO. Like they're not hearing no excuses from Tank. They're not being lenient with Tank. You know what I mean? So anything can happen. Like you, like you say, if he gets a lenient PO, they'd be like, yeah, we meet once a month as long as you're staying out of trouble and you, 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 you going to your, like, you, you, you're keeping up with your conditions of release. We ain't got no issue. But then you got some who just power trip, man. It, you know what I mean? It's like any, it's like anything. So I don't know if you ask me, he didn't get off easy though. I, I do. I do feel for the victims, but motor vehicle accidents happen regularly. It happened every day. Every day there are motor vehicle accidents that change the course of people's lives, that alter what people... And unfortunately, that's just life. When you get in the motor vehicle, when you get in the airplane, when you get you risk your life. I've said this before. So, um, But when those accidents happen, they don't get this. And them young kids don't know how to handle those Lamborghinis. Wasn't uh, EJ in the Lambo? 
two and a half. And they said he ain't had no license either. Like, yeah, the young boy can't handle yeah, no like, Lambo. Yo, he was wilding, bro. You know? The young boy can't handle no Lambo. Too much power. He ended up hitting that gas by mistake and just went right through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, I'll close by saying this. Like, it's it, it's to me, um, this unfortunate situation. Hopefully, like you said, uh, Trill Tank will learn from it. It seems like he is. One thing I'll say about Tank, it seems like he is maturing. Yeah. Like it's even in his boxing career, where he used to get fat and you yeah, see him acting the fool in between he, fights. He, he, he doesn't, doesn't do him. that anymore. And I think he, I think he's learning. Tank, get a damn license, brother. Uh, that's what. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter, and please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. No, you rocking with it's the boxing bros. <laughs>